Good evening, gamers, and welcome back to Hellstorm Wargaming. My name is Mikey, and I have upset you with my title or thumbnail, or both at the same time. Thank you very much for tuning in. It's the Monday show. We are in a little bit of a limbo right now. We're in a little bit of a limbo. We're in this time where Games Workshop won't give us enough that we can talk about 10th edition, but they will drip feed us to keep us like a little teat of a... Oh, that's so tasty, but now I want more and there's none left. So there's not lots to talk about other than the faction focus. And that's what we're going to be talking about this evening. The faction focus where everybody, every time one comes out, the next Facebook group called X Faction uh, 40k group is mad. Madge, molding, bolding at the latest and greatest fashion focus that Games Workshop just published because they don't understand anything about what they've been saying for the past three months. I'm so angry! Woo. I'm so angry! I'm so angry! Well, thank you for tuning in. Really appreciate it. We're going to talk about that, but first, we're going to say hi to you. Listen, come closer. Come closer. Hope you're doing well. Thanks for tuning in. Hope you enjoy the Bank Holiday Weekend. It's Bank Holiday Monday. Did I stop streaming? No. No, did I fuck? Hello. Welcome to the stream. Say hi. Let me know where you're watching from. If you're new here, thank you for tuning Tune in. I really appreciate that. It's very kind of you. Hopefully, you don't feel like. Uh, there we go. We're reconnected. Okay. Looks like OBS fell out there. OBS was like, you know what, Mikey? You're too powerful. That was such a powerful start to the stream. It decided to cut me off. Decided to cut me off. But let me know where you're watching from. Hope you're all doing well. Thank you very much for tuning in. We are back. We are back. Yeah, just disconnected for everybody. Don't worry about it. Just hit the old, the old refresh. OBS interrupted your role. I was on a, such a good role. OBS on Bank Holiday. It's true. It's true. Uh, sick shirt. Thank you, Swan Forge. You like this shirt? <laughs> Hellstormapparel.com. Get it. Get it today. You can get all of our shirts. Hellstorm Apparel. You type it into the internet, and then it comes up. Dot com. That's where I get all of my apparel related to Hellstorm, and the website actually works. Look at that. Hellstormapparel.com. Look at all these cool shirts. There's a new Leviathan box coming out, and I'm not wearing the Leviathan's t-shirt. I know. I suck. You get the cool logo. You get the coffee time shirt. We have loads and loads of designs. You can explore. Let's have a look. You can... Apparel. What, let's have a look at men's. Cool. Look at all these cool shirts you can get. First Bond Gym. There it is. Yowza. Small Bond Gang. Brother. Look, you can get women's t-shirts. I appreciate there's not a lot. Let's uh, Let's change that. <laughs> <laughs> That'll be one setting in uh, in uh, in the old in the old shirt store. Get loads of stuff. Check it out. Hellstormapparel.com. Um, let's have a look. Uh, I triggered an ad. You're so you you are the best. That's all I can say. That's all I can say. Thank you for alerting me to redo an ad. That didn't work. I'll post a proper link now. Bing bang, bing bang, boom. There we go. Look, look. As cool as me. I know it's hard. I know it's difficult. But there we go. We'll pin that. There we go. Pin the message. Booyah. Booyah. There's also, there should be some links down below. If you don't want to follow the link, there's some pictures. You can click on the pictures and it does the thing. Um, but otherwise, hello, hello, hello. Uh, stream's back. Hello. Covering drama for Facebook groups, complaining their faction can't sell out every other army at once will take on that. We're not going to look at the. I just, I just know what they've said. I don't need a PhD to work out what Facebook groups are saying. <clears throat> Hot take: Necrons continue to suck and win games and play. Oh man, Necrons are so bad! Oh, my, oh, that Necrons are so shit. I've seen one rule. Is that what we're doing? You want me to start a fight with you? Just want me to start fights in the chat? Is that what you're saying? <clears throat> If he actually starts talking about the stuff from Warcom within the first 30 minutes, I'll gift 10 members. I'm in. I'm making money tonight. I'm making money tonight. I'm going to start in less than 30 minutes. Um, how's your weekend away? It was great, mate. It was really good. I've been to Wales. I've been in the middle of nowhere for three days. I've been in the middle of Wales for three days. You might see my Instagram. You might have seen that I made a, I made a, a reel. <laughs> I made a TikTok. <laughs> I went to see a bridge, mate. It was sick. They're telling me I was learning the history of a bridge. If you didn't know, this is where I went. This is where I visited. I visited, visited the Devil's Bridge in uh, in Wheels. Um, this is it. Three bridges, mate. Want one bridge? Nah, I'll take three. 
Look at that. One, two, three. Easy clap. So I went to see a bridge. Look at me. Look at me. Seeing the sights. Learning the history. Learning the history of the world. Of Wales, specifically. Do you know why there's three bridges? I do. I do, because I went, okay? There you go. Have you? Do you know why there's three bridges? No. I could tell you, but I'm not gonna. You'll have to visit. It's two pounds. I'm sure you can manage. <clears throat> Don't do Insta. You should have. You should do, mate. It's great. Insta's great. Um, hopefully, uh, my internet catches up. If not, it'll be a very short stream tonight because OBS is cringe. There we go. OBS is great now. What can I say? British history stopped me with one picture. Why is there three, mate? So it's a funny story, right? Funny story. They wanted to put bigger stuff on it. So they built another one on top. Easy as that. First one, people only. Look at this. Here we go. Sorry time. Sorry time, everyone. I went to see three bridges. It's called the Devil's Bridge because the devil built the first one. He built this one. There's a story about he'll, he'll build a bridge, but it'll have the first living thing that crosses it. So an old woman was supposed to, was like, please build me a bridge. And he was like, yeah, go on then. Swap you. Yeah. You get one bridge. I get souls. And then she like tricked her dog to run over the bridge. So she sacrificed her dog uh, for this bridge. There you go. Um, he doesn't have fiber. I do have fiber. I did a speed test. Look, look at this. I did a speed test before I started the stream. I have a stream deck. So I'm professional, as you can see. Look at this. Look, you see that? Bam. 60 megabit upload. And it still freezes. Fuck you, man. <laughs> Fuck the internet. Anyway, yeah, so they built a bridge, and they like actually want to put horses on it, so they built another one. And they were like, you know what? Lorries are kind of sick, so they built a third one. That is the story of the three bridges. There you go. Enjoy. There you go. I drove five hours to see that. It was great. It was great. Now you know all, all, all you all know about the three bridges. You know what? It's still more more interesting than reading Facebook comments about my faction. Ah. <laughs> <laughs> uh. Uh, Devil thinks he's getting a delicious human soul, but ends up with a dog soul. Devil got punked. Exactly. That's quite fun. I thought it was quite fun. There's a fun little uh, little story about a bridge. Um. Anyway. Anyway, but yeah, that is exactly what happened. You make Georgie walk across first, just in case. In case you do, we make Blood Raven style and some successes. I did. Yeah, that's exactly. <clears throat> Gosh, Wales, how can you get to three bridges? I know they're so greedy. It was cool though. There was like water and shit. <laughs> uh, it's all the pegging porn you're downloading, probably. At least the tree bridges over the fourth are next to each other. That's it. That's it. There's probably another bridge underneath. Uh, three bridges. Did you bring one out, lad? <laughs> no, not this time. They were like, there was actually four bridges, but I stole one. Um... Hey, what would be the best faction to play? I want to use the Demon Prince model, but I don't like the CSM preview for 10th edition to get back into 4K. Better wait for that old um, uh, Demon preview then. Yeah, Chaos Demons. Also, sick JoJo mug. Have you noticed it's heat change? It's a heat changing mug. As you can see, fucking quiet. Slow these days. Heat changing mug. As you can see, the more I drink, the colder it gets. So we have the world and we have Star Platinum. It's great. I can't help myself. I'm a fucking weeb. I love anime. Specifically, JoJo. Um, but, 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 what we do, John must be like resulting to baiting us. I am. I am baiting you big, big time. Um, the thing is, if you put a concrete haunch in the first bridge, you probably don't need the other two. Now, they weren't planning on putting like lorries over it when they built the first one. I love how the bridge conversation, which I thought was like, I'm just going to do this and see what happens. You're all really enjoying the conversation about the bridge. Terrible pronunciation of a Zawodu. <laughs> um, bank holiday. It is a bank holiday. Yeah, the, the thing is that the news is really quiet to me. Like, there's fuck all happening because Games Workshop have done Warhammer Fest. Fuck that up. They've gone quiet ever since. 
And it's just like, what's coming out? Oh, faction, faction articles? Great. <clears throat> Feel like the bridge deserves a fat mum joke. <laughs> yeah, they built a bridge. But your mum was so fat, they needed to build a bigger one. Twice. <laughs> uh. If you like building on top of old stuff, could I recommend Ed Edinburgh? The Scots are expert at it. I do want to go to it. I've no never actually been to Scotland, you know. Considering I'm from Yorkshire. Um, I've actually never been to Scotland. So I'll talk about the bridge, get over it. Well done. Well done. Any other, any other bridge puns? We need more bridge, you know? Could bridge the gap. Bridge storm. Bridge storm wargaming. All the bridges to curse and lagging your stream. <laughs> That's so dead. Thank you much for remember for 15 months. Just read the title. Not bothered. My faction sucks in knife. That's true. That's true. The people, listen, let's go into it. Let's get into it. Okay. We'll do this, and then we'll see how we get on. 15 minutes. I'm speed running tonight's stream, as you can see. I can tell you've never been for how you said Edinburgh. <laughs> you mean, Ed is it not Edinburgh, but you spelt it wrong? Edinburgh. Edinburgh. <laughs> Spell it right. Edinburgh. Burra. Or is that somewhere else? Have you got two places that sound like Edin? Uh, someone's going to kick my head in if I keep saying it like that. Right, let's do it. Let's do the ang let's get the angry shit out of the way. Okay? Your faction is shit. Am I confused? Am I, lo am I lost? Right, okay. Google time. Google time. Edinburgh. 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 Yeah, capital of Scotland. So where's Edinburgh? Edinburgh. Uh, it's the same place. Why do you spell it so weird? Why do you spell it Edinburgh? <laughs> uh, right, okay. Anyway. Anyway. Edin Edinburgh. No, I'm not being distracted, Steve. You said you'd give me f 10 memberships. Everyone must gift a membership if I start, start the, uh, the content before half past. Edinburgh. <laughs> Bruh. <laughs> good morning. Good evening, Patrick. How are you doing well? Thanks for tuning in. Okay. I just need a good song. You ready? You ready for the good song? Bam. There it is. There it is. There's the good song. Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, everybody is so, so not understanding how Game Switch Up works. They are reading their faction focus and crying, Wah! Wah! My faction sucks! My faction's so bad! But listen, come here. Come here. Listen. Listen. It's okay. Your faction is going to suck. You're going to suck. One, you don't even know how to play 10th edition. And two, d does everyone remember when they said they were reducing lethality in the game? And everyone's like, well, my army's really bad now. And it's like... They can't just re reduce the lethality of your army and not change it, idiots. <laughs> Let's talk about it. Let's talk about Games Workshop be previewing their factions and showing off a little bit about what they can do. And every time they say something, every time they say something, someone in some Facebook group is like, oh, my factions are so shit. Necrons are so bad. Not realizing that they want the game to be simpler and less lethal, but then also they want their army to become stronger. It's going to be shit, but everybody is going to be shit at the same time. And that, what that does is, listen, it doesn't take Galaxy Brain to work this out, but if everybody's shit, nobody's shit. Does anyone understand that? Everybody's shit. If everybody at rock bottom, the only way is up, you know? So listen, it's okay if Necrons are bad. I keep zooming in slightly too much. I want to zoom in that far. It's okay if Necrons are bad. It's okay if... Steve, 
Keats on his promise and gifts 10 memberships. Let's go, Steve. Look at that. Let's go, baby. Thank you very much, Steve. Members. If you just be gifted a membership, make sure you say thank you. Oh, Steven, thank you very much for keeping your side of the bargain. Now, everyone else has to keep their side of the bargain and also gift a membership because I want to be a millionaire by before I'm 30. I have seven months. Uh, it's going to be it's going to be a long seven months. <laughs> thank you so much, Ginger Steve, for those 10 gifted. Jimmy Wolfgar, uh, Cappy Chaos Schwarm. Hartle Pud DA, Aldra One, Ross BG, uh, yeah. Ellis Priestley, Blood Claw Bob, and Dan Ailstrom. Make sure you say thank you to Ginger Steve because you just got a membership because I started the stream early. I started the topic early. There we go. Thank you so much, Steve. That's very, very kind of you, mate. Really, really good of you. Does something get more Discord access? It sure does. By becoming a member, you get access to the full suite of Discord. As you can see by our Discord, we have two areas. We have. We have uh, the moderator area, as you can see. Well, you can't see that. But we have Hellstone Wargaming content. We have the free area, which is four channels. And we have uh, the members lounge. And look at all, look at all these whoa, look at all these channels you can talk. And if you're a big member, I'd show you what's going on there. But it is private, I'm afraid. Oh, premium general, latest video discussion, video suggestions, emo idea, meme templates. Woo, baby. There's so much going on there. Thank you very much, Patrick, for the two, mate. Really appreciate it. Look at all that that's happening. There's even off-topic pets, plants, and people. We got we got cats, guys. Listen, I've got cats in the Discord. Escalation Point Discord. Uh, you can join in for as little as £2 a month. I don't ask for any more for Discord. If you're a member of any level, you get Discord access. But our country level does get a secret private room to be. There is a members area. Join the Discord. Become a member. Join the Discord. That should be the new tagline. I'll say it up here. Join the Discord. Become a member. All the same. There's a members lounge. That's why we chill out. We get free, you get free drinks there. You don't get free drinks. You get free food. You get free sandwiches. You don't get free sandwiches. But no, you do get access to me. You get access to Ask Mikey. Right there. You see that? And behind the scenes. Look at that. You didn't see those before, did you, little freebie boys? Little freebies back there. How do I get that? All you do is link. What is it here? Uh, access members area. How do I join the members area? Right there. There we go. Link your account to Discord. Easy as that. <gasps> Mercenary, thank you for gifted. And Leslie Jones, thank you for the 10 as well. Look at all these people get free Discord access now for a whole month. There's free cats in there. Leslie, thank you much for the 10, mate. That's so, so kind of you. And obviously, Mercenary Q, thank you for the gifted as well. Uh, Hashira the artist, Stephen yes. Burton, uh, Ollie Barker, John B. Uh, Ciresco, Majority T3, Bottom Farm, Bespoke Hero, and Lucas. Make sure you say thank you for that gifted membership. Really appreciate it. And Aaron Matthews yeah. as well. <clears throat> uh, hold on a minute. Is this like positive reinforcement training for dogs doing the right thing? Yes, it is. This is good. The more you gift, the more likely I am to make yeah. you laugh. That's how it works, okay? <clears throat> Lads with a free membership, just buy a ticket for a Hellstorm event. Maybe the big one in October to pay for it and a bit of change. Exactly, yeah, exactly. Thank you so much, Steve. Really appreciate it. Thank you so much, everyone, for becoming a member. Look at that. We got we got 21 members tonight already. That is crazy. Listen, I used to be a streamer back in the day. I used to stream with three people. And I get one sub every, like, nine months, okay? You used to get one subscriber on the old Twitch. Now we got 21 in one evening and i started streaming 20 minutes ago listen i can't thank you enough for your generosity everyone at home i honestly can't thank you enough what's a curse shit what's a curse shit this one rejoined i don't know what you're about anyway i can't thank you enough this is very very kind of very very generous i do really appreciate it i love what i do and i love hanging out with you guys and i and i i love how generous you can be because obviously i benefit that is fine but it also just shows me that i'm doing the right thing and, I, and you guys are enjoying it so thank you so much i do really appreciate it um <clears throat> or maybe e yes to, am i am i am i losing something am i confused i think i'm confused i think i am as a cursed t-shirt. It's a great name. Should I ignore it? Anyway. Anyway. Thank you so much, everyone. That's what I'm trying to say. It's, we're all... We're all... This is this is not my channel. It's our channel. I take all the money. But it's our channel. We build it together. I get all the revenue. I get all the revenue. Um, <laughs> so 
Hunter. Thank you so much. And thank you to ICD Chief for the 10. <laughs> all, I did was say, all I did was rant about how stupid people are. And you're Just obviously so generous. Oh, boy. Thank you so much. Again, our channel. It's, it's the red channel. We are the red party channel. I get all the revenue. Thank you so much, I see the chief. No, it's Tom's channel. <laughs> thank you so much, I see the chief. Make sure you say thank you. Uh, Leventer24, Connor, Johnny, Tell, Ultra Minus, Camden Jansen, Jack Holt, Martin Meltzer, uh, Martin Hansen, Justin Roscoe. Thank you so much. Uh, so make sure you say thank you to I see the chief. And if you can't afford a membership, it is only two good a month. If you can't afford a membership, just watch the stream, like it, interact, and you're more likely to get one when we get gifted, you know? <clears throat> just starting a Blood Ravens army. Yeah, thank you so much, Do you five. paint the chapter symbol or use transfers? If so, I, where from? I actually, I actually uh, bought a load off uh, Forge World where, because I knew they were going to go out yeah. of stock. Um, but I know you can get custom transfer sheets. Also, Jay Taylor, thank you for the five as well. Jesus Christ. Oscar, Grey Slayer, Aaron Jack, Warmaster Will, and AG Mose. Thank you. Um, yeah, so you can buy them from, I believe, Fallout Hobbies does custom transfers, and you can also buy transfer paper and print it. You can like literally just print it in a printer. Um, so make sure you do that. Otherwise, you ask Aaron eBay, mine are official Forge World ones from back in the day. Um, but yeah, I'm sorry I can't help much more. Um, but yeah. thank you very much to the five, Dako. I can really appreciate it. Jay Taylor, thank you very much to the five gifted. Absolute legend. Again, if you've just been gifted a membership, make sure you say thank you. Say thank you, you know? Um, my gift in RNG is dreadful. I mean, it's just one of those things, right? It's one of those things. you got to keep watching. Uh, unless you have a brand account. Brand account? Gifted members. Well, I would support if I could afford it because I do really enjoy streams like it. Well, the main way to support me, if you can't afford to financially support me, the main way to like every stream, like every video, try and watch the video all the way through. Member. That's all I can ask you to do. I know that's a lot. I am annoying. But if you can't afford it, then that's the best thing you can do. Um, Swanee, thank you very much for becoming a member as well. Thank you so much. That's very kind of you. Very kind of you. Uh, and thank you, Mikey, for the spice. I do try it. Actually. I like to bring the spice, you know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? Uh, I'm not chatting in there with you. You're chatting in there with me. <laughs> they joined. Thank you so much, everyone, for the memberships. That's really kind of you. I'm struggling to keep up with the alerts, whether that's still gifted or that's new people. I'm a bit... I'm a bit... This is all a bit wild. I'm still not used to this. This is very, very kind. We joined. Uh, I actually turn off those videos straight away so you get those bad metrics. And I expect no less of a Hellstorm fan. Turn off the video straight away. <laughs> Uh, does it affect the stats to watch videos at two times speed? I do that as I'm lazy. I'm usually caffeinated. Actually, the opposite. If I don't know if they changed it, but I watched a video where if you watch things at two times speed... Oh, no. No. The opposite, the other way around. If you watch things at two times speed, I get half the watch time. Because it's how long you're physically watching a video for. If you watch a 20-minute video in five minutes, I get five minutes of watch time. But if you watch a 20-minute video in quarter speed, I get four times the watch time. Okay. Um, I can't be gifted sub. Uh, this account is a brand account. Why do you have a brand account? Um, can you not afford five dollars? Literally. Uh, yeah, mine's an old brand account. Why do you have brand accounts? Contact Scumbag Customs for transfers that don't exist now. Find them on Facebook or something. Interesting. Scumbag Customs. Let's Google it. Scumbag customs transfers. Oh, it says under construction services. There you go. Scumbag customs services. We make cust we make uh, transfers. Contacted us on social media. That's what to look at. There you go. Thanks, Steve. Used to be monetizing the early days of YouTube. Ah. Interesting. <clears throat> I was one of the Google people who worked on sending brand account transfer email to everyone. I can all attest to why do you still have a brand account? Literally, Thorns was literally working for Google and he was like, bruh, why are you still you doing this? <laughs> um. So 
So if I put a live stream on slow mo, then go and play a game with it in the background. Stonks. Yeah, big stonks, Magoo. Big stonks. Huge stonks. Anyway, everyone's angry. Thank you so much for all the gifted. Thank you so much for all the uh, the donations. You are all super, super kind. And I honestly can't thank you enough. Sometimes I think I'm failing. Sometimes I'm like, I'll be honest. I do watch other people's live streams. And I'm like, bruh. Bruh, they just got like, gifted like five subs. What the fuck? What am I doing wrong? What am I doing wrong? And then people come out here. They just give 10. I'm like, <laughs> Maybe, 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 I, maybe I'm all right. Maybe I'm all right. So I just want to say thank you because it, it is hard being a YouTuber. I have to, I live and die by the algorithm and um, it is kind of scary sometimes. Um, it is very, very scary. Um, so thank you so much. I really, really appreciate it. But let's go. Where were we? <laughs> half an hour later. Steve, it's still before half seven. No, uh, no callbacks on the old refund. Your faction is shit. That's what I was trying to say. Your faction is shit. But everyone else's faction is shit at the same time. Because we are all getting an index. Now, there's going to be stuff that feels kind of broken. But your faction is going to look bad. Because they are making the game less lethal. And they can't make the game less lethal. And rate your army much better at the same time. That does not work. That does not work. They can't make everyone else's faction worse and your army well good and they say uh, that's just not that's just, it's not, it's not it's not that's not how it's gonna work so let's have a look i had a look at this one on wednesday but let's have a look at faction space marines i am a space marine player i am the cringiest i am the my i brought my first army i brought my first army to a tournament you know i'm so, that sort of guy but what have we seen? We've seen combat doctrines. These are shit. <laughs> That's it. The entire stream. This is shit. <laughs> um, Devastating doctrine. Give, used to give you an extra AP on your heavy weapons. Also, Iron Hands. Ignore the heavy penalty and reroll once a hit with heavy weapons. Now, shooting a turn which is advanced. <laughs> Excuse me? <laughs> what? Is it rubbish? Tactical doctrine. These elves shoot at the cloud charging which it fell back. Still kind of rubbish. Assault doctrine. Declare a charge which it advanced. Alright, that's kind of pog. Kind of pog. Okay. <laughs> this is shit. I have iron hands. Ignore the heavy penalty. Reroll wants to hit heavy weapons all game. Now it's once per, once per, once per game. Whew. It's rubbish. It's rubbish. Well, you know what? That's okay. It's fine. Because we're all rubbish. I don't understand why people that don't get it. Ah. Uh, Lord Gullman, with all due respect, your amendments to the Codex of Starties are shit. And I, I agree. I agree. We've seen a land raider. <laughs> Everybody's like, <laughs> Oh my god, a land raider! Everything's going to be so cool! I'm going to run land raiders! I can put grasses in land raiders, finally! It's rubbish! <laughs> it's so bad! Wounds 16, great! Toughness 12, alright, kinda cool, better than toughness 8 or 9 if you're a Chaos Space Marine. God have a last cannon! Has no special rules! None of them! Where are the USRs? God have a last cannon! It is merely just two shots. <laughs> it's rubbish! Where's like Twin Linked? You know, the heavy bolter re-rolls wounds and has sixes to hit an additional hit. <laughs> it's rubbish. God hammer last cannon. May as well have called it P hammer last cannon. You know what I'm saying? Uh, the hunter killer is higher strength, nearly the same amount of damage and hits on a two. <laughs> D6 plus 1! Oh, but McHugh, thank God! I forgot! It's D6 plus 1 damage! Now I can do 2 damage! Hooray! <laughs> Let's go! 2 damage! Ah, oh, Cloud tank, literally. Cloud tank. You can't wait for all the clouds to get out of it. All the aggressors, you know what I mean? Ah, oh, Anyway, listen. I'm a space brood player. I'm supposed to be hype about this. But you have to, what you have to remember is whilst the toughness is going up, the weapons are tough up, weapon down. 
tough, stonks, weapon, not stonks. Okay. The, the, the fact is that the, the lethality of the game that we have now is being massively reduced. Massively reduced. So the weapons in the game is, go is going right down. Okay, it's going to rubbish. It's just like, it's so much weaker. They get rid of a lot of the AP. The, there's no additional AP for Space Marines because a lot of Space Marines you saw that were starting to hit like minus four, even minus five. The, the, the lethality of the game is dropping and the toughness is going right up. Okay, so you're having toughness go really high. Weapons go stay or go really low. Now, granted, last cannon, strength 12. Not bad. Not bad. Strength 12 is pretty good. But the toughness is now strength 12. So you're still wounding it on force. Now that is one instance. But look at multi-melters. Strength 9. So you're wounding a tank on 5s. <laughs> okay. And that's what you've got to kind of like remember. You know. Honestly, no clue about tabletop rules and how they work. I'm enjoying the ride. So far, all I've got is everything is shit. Everything is shit. That's all you need to worry about. <coughs> uh, we did this. We did. I hate that we're going back to flat D6 damage. We love D6 damage. Um... Uh, hang on. Those last cannons are twin-linked on the models, but doesn't have the twin-linked rules. Yeah, so the la these last cannons in particular... Um, are two shots, but they're not twin linked. So you have two God Hammer Last Cannons. As you can see, it's quit with two God Hammer Last Cannons here. So this is the back of the day card, which is cool as well. It shows you the options you can take. But it's quit with two God Hammers. So it's got four Last Cannon shots, much like it has in, ten in ninth edition, you know? Each one counts as one Last Cannon. Yeah, each one is a God Hammer Last Cannon. It's got two. It's got four shots. So... But again, that's what you've got to kind of remember. We've seen G-Man. G-Man ever flipping their shit for G-Man. Now, I think I think this data sheet kind of confirms a lot of the suspicion. Like, melee weapons. It looks like you're going to have to choose one melee weapon. Because I can't see, in my hearts of hearts, as funny as it will be, I can't see G-Man having 21 attacks. <laughs> you know? I can't see... I can't see G-Man getting 21 attacks. Reroll with the army rule so it makes totally ladder redundant. That's also true. Because you have oath at the moment. Yeah. G-Man with 21 attacks is reasonable. Can you imagine? He's like this. He's like, bam, stab, bam, stab, bam. All day. He's, he'd be so tired. He'd be shattered, bless him. A poor ladder be, he'll be like, he'll be like, <sighs> that's one combat done. Time for number two. <laughs> quick coffee before we go protein shake <laughs> some pre-workout two stabs per punch yeah literally so g-man is very strong and he obviously be, he can choose whether uh plus one objective control and reroll backshot text kind of strong or he can choose a second unit for oath of moment now oath of moment is reroll all hits and wounds against a particular target now, obviously, we've talked about the fact that they have <laughs> said there are less re-rolls in the game, followed by Space Marines re-roll all hits and wounds against one target per turn. Now, I think I think they're <laughs> the way the people who write the rules and have some taglines are like simplified, not simple. Less re-rolls in the game. Um, I think they're different from the people who write the articles. Now, I think there are less re-rolls in the game. Because less units are re-rolling, you know? You've got, you've got, um, like, like, at the minute, you've got, like, characters who have auras who can give out full re-rolls to hit, or re-roll ones to hit, or re-roll ones to wound, or re-roll a hit, and re-roll a wound, or re-roll a hit, or wound, or re-roll a hit, and a wound. Um, but I, I think, um, I think the thing is, is they're trying to say, like, you're going to have less options to re-roll against. Your entire army is going to re-roll to hit against one target, but it's not going to re-roll to everything to hit or to wound against the entire game, which is like now. So...
It's a juxtaposition of few rerolls text and the very next ability preview. No, I totally agree. I totally agree, Magoo. They said there are going to be less rerolls in the game immediately after they put a picture saying, Oath of Moment is reroll all hits and wounds against the target. <clears throat> Not every Tom, Dick, and Harry Captain. Yeah, so I think there's going to be a lot less characters that provide rerolls, especially like non special characters. And there's going to be. There's going to be like, yeah, there's going to be army wide abilities. There's going to be like unit abilities, but there's not going to be like, this captain gives everybody reroll wants to hit, or this lieutenant gives everybody reroll wants to hit, or similar. So I think that's what they're trying to say. So, but you know, I could be wrong. You know, I've, I have been wrong before when it comes to trying to work out what games I'm trying to say. But what we have seen is the heavy onslaught Gatling cannon, which is raised 24, 12 shots. Threes to hit, strength six, zero AP, one damage. However, devastating wounds. Devastating wounds, I believe. Mortal wounds on a six to wound, right? I believe that's one. I know what we should do. We should have a, we should get a cheat sheet of all the rules that showed off. We should do that. We should do that. So, I believe Devastating Wounds, can anyone confirm that? Devastating Wounds, is it Mortals on a 6 to wound? On a critical wound? Hero Hammer's back. Yeah, heroes are looking very strong, for sure. Um, oh, yeah, literally says there. Haha, -ha, look at that. So, now, 12 shots. No AP, but does Mortals. So, whilst you may think this goody shit, if you're rerolling all hits and wounds... <laughs> You're just trying to fish for all sixes to wound. We should put all these rules in the book and some sort. We should write them all down. We should write them all down. Tonight. Tonight. We should do that after this. After we've done the factions. But devastating wounds. Now you've, re you've got Oath of Moment. So all reroll all hits and all wounds. Um, We're going to look for those six and get some mortals. You know. Pin comment on the new releases Discord. Oh, look, at our, our Discord is the place to be. New releases. Pin comment. Oh, let's go, baby. Oh, Magoo, where's the fuck chair? Where's my text? <laughs> so I can copy it. Devastating wounds. Sixes inflict D mortal wounds is dead. D mortal wounds. Okay. There we go. We will. We will do it. We'll make it. We'll be, be better and we'll be stronger together. <clears throat> okay, write them all out right now. <laughs> no, don't do that. That's fine. I realized um, I just minimized everything by accident. Where well, OBS gone? There we go. It's only way it's like four four mortals. If you roll all hits and wounds, D mortal damages mortals. That is a terrible way to write, but that's fine. <laughs> We're gonna rewrite that. Okay. Pay me. No, never. We stopped doing a bad job. Uh, heavy laser destroyer. Two attacks. D6 plus four damage. The one and only tank destroyer. It's only strength 16. Everything's toughness 15. It's rubbish. As I keep saying. Uh, they do have a strategy. And I know I'm skipping through a lot of this. It's because I read it last week. And it's quite old news. Um, what can we do? Until the end of the phase, each time all the unit is destroyed, if the model is not fought this phase, do not remove from play. The destroyed model can fight after attacking the model's unit is finished making attack and is then removed from play. So fight on death for 2 CP. Now, is CP going to be hard to come by? Do we all start with 12? Or are we going to start with like 0? <laughs> I don't know. I don't know. Fight on dead. Fight on dead is real. Yes, remember the old avatar. We finally have fight on dead. It was real all along. It was real all along. Fight on dead. <laughs> Let's have a look at the words from the studio. Let's look see what they're going to say. Space Marine armies are elite and able to adapt to defeat any foe. Explains Robin. Old Robin. It was this adaptability. That's uh, for anyone at, at home when we watch the uh, the studio team. This is mutton chops. Remember? Um, it was this adaptability that led to the Oath of Moment ability combining a targeted tactical choice with a devastating punch. This blend of tactics and power is further backed up by the Gladius Task Force detachment, which grants the Depths of Society's unparalleled flexibility on the battlefield. So this, what we've got to remember, is while the entire army has re-roll all hits and wounds against one target per turn, right? 
what we also have to remember is this. Wait for it. Stop. Stop, please. Oh my god, I've broken I've broken the internet. I've broken it. Oh my god. I've broken it all. This this doctor combat doctrine things is just while you're running the Gladius Task Force. So this specifically, this rule of fall back and shoot and advance, fall back and charge, is a Gladius Task Force. Okay? And with that Gladius Task Force, we get only in death does duty end. Not every space marine is going to have access to only in death does duty end and all of these doctrine things. Because they're going to have to play them as a Gladius Task Force. Are there any limitations running Gladius Task Force? Don't know. Probably not because it's the first one in the index. I don't think there's going to be limitations. But as soon as more start coming out, you know, as soon as more start coming out, people might not have access to the combat doctrines or that stratagem that looks kind of rubbish. So, we don't know. We just don't know yet. Let's start with Zero Confed at first. There we go. <clears throat> so you're gonna start with zero cp and fight on death is what two cp or is it one cp it's two so fight on death is two cp anyway so it's not exactly the cheapest thing to play with if you're gonna start with zero that's quite uh quite tough but then they talked about tyranids let's have a look at tyranids i've not properly looked at this one i'm not properly looked at tyranids the great devourer let's have a look at tyranids let's say see how tyranids are shit Army rules, synapse. If your faction is Tyranids, while well, Tyranids unit is within six inches of a synapse model for your army, that unit is said to be within synapse range of your army. Each time a Tyranids unit for your army takes a battle shot test, if it's within synapse range of your army, take the test on 3d6 instead of 2d6. Gulliman makes a strategy free per phase, but not everyone's going to run Gulliman, so. <laughs> So, so Synapse makes it a uh, battle shot test on 3d6. Obviously, the battle shot test is roll over your leadership characteristic and you pass. If you roll under, you fail. So. <clears throat> so everyone's saying you start with zero, but you gain one each command phase, which much like it is now. Don't forget the rule for every mod, every space room on my turn is defeat. I get to eat it. True. 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 Uh, army rules. Another army rule. That's two army rules. Interesting. Shadow in the warp. If your army faction is turn is once per battle in either place command phase. If one or more units from your army with this ability on the battlefield, you can release shadow in the warp. When you do so, each enemy on the battlefield must take a battle shock test. Bro, that's brutal. So, Battle Shot, we know we can't use stratagems. Don't run away, but they can't hold objectives. I don't know. I can't remember anything. I can't remember anything anymore. So, about making an entire army take a Battle Shot test is brutal. That's every... You could do it turn one. Start of the battle. Right, everyone. <laughs> stratagems for you this turn. Take a Battle Shot on everybody. <laughs> Everything's shit, bro. That's brutal. It is shit. Shadow in the warp used to minus one to cast. Anyway, unique spotlight. Tyranids. Gene Stealers. Here we go. Gene Stealer Talons. Strength 4, minus 2, 1 damage. They used to be minus 3. Shit. Scouts 8. Okay. Do we know what Scouts does? Right, everyone. Stream freeze. <laughs> Sorry about the stream. Uh, four attacks each. I, the Gene Steelers at the minute, like, especially Gene to the cult ones, they're all, like, AP3 right now. Uh, Rending Claws can go up to, like, minus four in the original Tony Coats, but I think at the minute they're AP3 now as well. They're basically equipped with Power Swords. That's essentially how I look at them. But they're way, hitting on two. But that is shit, because it used to be AP3. It is lagging a bit. I'm sorry. Scout will be pre-game move. Yeah, if, if Scout is anything like what it was in 7th edition, that is moved before the game starts.
They got two wounds. So yeah, like look, look, a prime example. Thank you, Inside Out. Look, their weapon got worse. It's less AP, but they gained a wound. <laughs> you know, they're in one according to G. So the quarter ones are worse. So like their weapons got shitter and they got tougher. So everything's gonna feel proper shit. It sounds like, or it's, at least it looks like, when you start to play this game, everything's gonna bounce and you're gonna be like, the fuck. <laughs> <laughs> everything's gonna be just like the fuck why is nothing dying but it's because everything's got worse and tougher <laughs> uh, there you go scouts 8 inch core abilities gives their free move of 8 after deployment which is pretty good Um, they also have vanguard each time it makes an attack, reroll a wound roll of one. If you tank within range of objective marker, you can reroll the wound roll instead. Eh. Reroll wounds on. Reroll wounds is decent. But in one at range dropped. It, it has, yeah, because they had a 4 plus in one at range, I believe. The Swarm Lord. Here we go. Swarm Lord he used to give full rerolls to hit. Move stuff before the game starts. Once per battle, after your opponent uses a strategy, it's one of your wall until the battle for his ability. If it does, if you do so, it, you cost one more. <laughs> what can I say? He's just as good. <laughs> so he's got toughness ten, which is cool. Two up save, a four up in one, so no in bumping com, no three up in combat. You know, bone sabers aren't minus three anymore. Gets nine attacks, uh, eight attacks hitting on twos. Pretty good. Pretty good. Is it? I don't know. Synaptic pulse. This isn't a free smite. What the fuck? Where's my smite? <laughs> AP two. Kind of, kind of shit. Everyone's saying AP two does suck. But everybody's AP is worse. Everyone, listen. Everybody's AP is worse. It does it suck? Or is AP2 the new standard? I don't know. <laughs> he can reroll wounds with the bone sabers. Can he? Can he? How? How does he reroll wounds with his bone sabers? Oh, it's twin linked. Of course. That's alright. So strength nine rerolling wounds. He only needs AP2 to throw most characters to their 4 plus invon. Exactly. So he's going to be fighting shit with invons anyway. The Bone Saber Train. Hell yeah. Mikey, what do you mean my faction will suck? All my White Scouts rules got rolled into Marine Doctrine. My faction is literally not playing there anymore. Mate. Mate, mate. Listen, we've done this already. We're going to do it again, just for you. There are no faction rules linked to your colour of your armour. You are a space marine. Everybody's a space marine. We're all space marines. Okay? There are no white scars. There are no ultra marines. It doesn't matter. You're just a space marine. Stop being silly. God damn it. <laughs> oh. Ah, oh, the only thing that makes bikes really good. You're like, wow, it's really cool for white scars. But nobody's a white scar. You just look like one. God damn it. Everybody's a blood raven. Listen, I've been doing it for years. That's basically what we're saying. Everybody's a blood raven. You choose the faction you want to play as and play that one. It doesn't matter what color you're painted. It doesn't matter if you're black or white. Michael Jackson said it all along, okay? Be any color you like. And come and play any faction rules you like. There's only one. <laughs> There's only one to choose from. Uh, anyway. Anyway. <laughs> I guess I should have put sarcasm at the end. No. No, you should have. Nah. Nah. It's too late now, JW. It's too late. It's over now. Me and you, done. <laughs> should, should, I, should I have said sarcasm before I started? Ah. Uh. <laughs> Like he's been seeing the future since the start. He knew this was coming. Games Workshop just wants to ruin my day again. Okay. 
Games Workshop just want to ruin me again. I had a great meme. Blood Ravens are Iron Hands. But now everybody's Iron Hands. And no one's Iron Hands. It's over. It's over. <laughs> uh. oh, so stressful. Listen, being a content creator is so, so stressful. Gift a member. <laughs> Gift a member to say. Uh, sarcasm, love you the content. Oh, fuck me. I just want to kill myself. Anyway, he looks rubbish. Why would you even take him? He doesn't give full rerolls to hit anymore like he used to. <laughs> uh, weapon spotlight. Rupture cannon. Rupture cannon. Two shots. Why do I even bother? <laughs> Sometimes it hits on a two. Only strength 18. Oh, I hate that we're doing D6 damage again. Where is it? If you went on my Twitter last week, you would have seen the ultimate tweet. <laughs> the ultimate tweet. It got 1,500 likes. We still doing completely random damage thing, really? Let's I. I can't wait to roll three damage against a tank with his giant titan bedroom bioweapon. Just roll a 12, dickhead. That's what you should have said. <laughs> Fucking excellent tweet. Excellent tweet. Just roll 12. Get good. That's what Warhammer said. Officially, they want my memes. That's what they're coming for. Just get good. <laughs> Stop being a scrub. Don't roll two. Roll 12. <laughs> uh, anyway, the cringiest part of this picture is probably left unsaid, but... <laughs> I almost spit out my coffee laughing. Well played, lol. Salute! Ah, <laughs> uh, David. Imagine getting blasted by a brand account and your answer is, Well played, lol! <laughs> well played, lol! Literally crying. He's actually just orphaned his kids off because he was that devastated. Ah. Uh, ah. Uh. I love how Gino is entering the start phase. It's great. I love to see it. It's so good. Uh. <laughs> Tips for Dora. Tips for Dora. <laughs> the lady. Thank you for noticing me. I spat out my coffee. <laughs> I spat out my coffee. Shut up. Stop being crazy. You have to say nothing. Ah. Uh. Your audio is clipping a bit. Do you know why? Because I'm so excited. Thank you for not letting me know. Thank you. That's why OBS is dying. <laughs> oh, mate. So funny. Love to see it. Just love to see it. Love to see the cringe. Love to see the cringe. Pishy, shitty, cray, well played, lol. Literally. Ah. Uh. The only way to prevent getting cooked by a brand account on Twitter is to stop using Twitter. That wasn't even on Twitter. That was on Facebook. <laughs> this is on Boomerbook. <laughs> oh, dear. Anyway. Anyway. Uh, so, yeah. Just roll a 12. If you don't like it, lump it. You're on one tonight. I am. I am. You know why? Gary, comments. I don't tell you why. Listen. Honestly, I had no ideas for content tonight. Quick, it's a slow news week. Um, so I just thought I'd just laugh at everybody instead. It's way, way better. <clears throat> anyway. Um, let's have a look at Endless Swarm. Up to two endless multitude units from your army that are within Synapse range of your army. Or one other endless multitude unit from your army. Up to D3 plus three. See, that's the, that stratagem is the one stratagem we've seen which is actually better than the old one. <laughs> Ah, uh, what's the old one? Endless, endless swarm. Let's have a look. Waha, waha indeed. Waha. That's what they say. Endless multitude. Do they still have that as a strat? Surely they still have that as a strat, right? Do they still have that? Endless. Endless. Let me go to like gargoyles. They they have the keyword. Give me gargoyles, baby. I bet David posted that screenshot in the Tyranny group. 
GW acknowledge me. <laughs> Notice me, senpai. Oh, that video is so good. Notice me. Oh, so funny. Uh, endless. Oh, is it called Endless Swarm now? Oh, it's still called Endless Swarm. It never changed. Here you go. Here you go, everyone. This is the one stratagem that got better in the game. Tyranids, you win. Look. Select one unit. Wow, Pete is so shit. Select one unit from your army. Up to D3 plus three models can be destroyed. Then when destroyed, can be put back. This is two units of one CP. Two nids are the one. Are the one faction that got something good in the faction focus. <laughs> oh, mate. Oh, mate. Oh. They only got one. Good evening, Pickle Jar. How you doing, buddy? Enjoyed your video this morning. It was really good. Make sure you go subscribe to the Pickle Jar. Um... They gave him one hand and take with the other. It's just D3 plus 3 on a gaunt unit. Yeah, but it's now two. Two gaunt units. That's how the monkey paws curl. Exactly. But what we did see also is Space Marines. Space Marines having the highest win rate of any army in 9th edition for at least two months. Two dark pacts. You could choose lethal hits or sustained hits. And then die. <laughs> right, lethal hits. A hit roll of a six automatically wounds the target. And sustained hits is obviously sixes are an additional hit. We cover Necron Jet now. They're next, mate. They're next, buddy. So, Dark Packs. It's all right. Each time you make a Dark Pack, after it resolves, take a leadership test. If the test is failed, suffer D3 mortal wounds. Much like old, oh, like Chaos Knights. They can, like, supercharge their weapons by taking mortals. Pretty decent. But <laughs> it's just okay. It's just fine. It's just fine. It's okay. D3 ball wins to maybe get an extra hit. Excellent. Great job, everyone. Unique spotlight, though. Here we go. This is where the things get spicy because this is the first data sheet where you see like loads of options. Jesus Christ, that's so much text. <laughs> Look at all these texts. It's cringe. Look at it all. <clears throat> I like dark pack stacks where that be. I'm sure it does. So we see legionnaires now, basically an intercessor, essentially stat wise. Uh, it's not that good, but it's not bad. Yeah, exactly. So some of the interesting ones on here are the auto cannon, the havoc auto cannon being strength uh, hits on a three strength nine minus one three damage. That is pretty decent. That is pretty decent. Everything else kind of rubbish. That block of text looks very simple. You only need to read it while you're building your list, though. <clears throat> so the Havoc Auto Cannon, pretty stonks. Everything else. All right. All right, I guess. A Starty's Chainsword. A Cursed Weapon, whatever that is. Heavy Melee Weapon, kind of all right. What's a Heavy Melee Weapon? <laughs> you know, is it a Power Fist? Spying Champions Bolt Gun can, be, can take a heavy melee weapon. The other Bolt Gun and Bolt Pistol can both be swapped with a heavy melee weapon. Cool. We can have him running around with double fists. Angry Marine. Bolt Guns are no longer rapid fire. That's true. Bolt Guns are no longer rapid fire. That's interesting. The double-handed axe from Kill Team. That makes sense. Heavy melee weapon is Power Fist or Heavy Chain Axe. And they're both the same. We yeah, have Bolt Gun's no longer Rapid Fire. That's an interesting change. Melter Gun, Melter 2. Strength 9, minus 4, D6. So much of the same. And it's Melter. Do we know that? Damage is increased by X when firing with house. So Melter is mostly the same. Plasma is interesting because the strength increases, but so does the AP. Previously, it was only the strength and damage. Now, it's strength, AP, and damage. And the AP is kind of rubbish until you supercharge. But is it rubbish? When everything else is like AP 0, AP 1, barring the Melter Gun, you can get AP 2 if you're lucky. It does seem to be like the standard. Standard is like AP 1 in shooting, AP 2 in combat. Anything extra is like specialist weapon, you know? 
Specialist, Melter Gun, Anti-Tank, Pierces through Armour, it's a Melter Gun. But AP2 does seem to be the new standard in combat, but AP1 in shooting. Havoc, Auto Cannon, can't get it in standard kit, GW strikes again. Did it not come with an Auto Cannon kill team? Why? Oh wait, there's a heavy bolt in the picture. Why is there one in the picture they can't take? Can they not take a heavy bolter? They can't take a heavy bolter. There you go. For every five models, you can take one of these heavy bolter two stars. This weapon's profile can be found in the Heretic Astartes Armory card. So there must be like a card in the like in the in, in the index pack with uh, like all the weapons on, which is cool. <laughs> Have a Gauta Cashin was easy to build one. That's fine. But they have Dark Pats and they have Veterans of the Long War. Each time modeling this unit targets an enemy with a melee attack, reroll a wound roll of one. If that enemy unit is within range of an objective marker, you can reroll the wound instead. Where have I heard that before? I'm pretty sure I read this in the last 10 minutes. Surely. Surely I read this. I've seen this one before and I didn't like the ending as Taylor Swift would say Aha, it was here. Thank you to modern synth for tweeting this excellent tweet games workshop Don't worry Warhammer community in new 40k We're not going to have the same rule called different things but different factions. They're all going to be centralized also games workshop Let's go, baby. Look at that. Same rule. Two different words. Kind of. Kind of. The, the rule is slightly different. <laughs> but that is very funny. We are going to make all the rules useful and not duplicate them. The first day the game comes out. <laughs> they have the same rule almost. Duplicated. Now, the only difference between these two rules is that Veterans of the Long War is when it makes a melee attack. We all of one. Or we roll all wounds if it's range of an objective marker. But Gene Stealers, with all of their armory of guns, can re-roll a wound roll of one with all of their attacks. <laughs> guns and combat. But no combat. They don't have guns, they only have combat. But they can re-roll ones in shooting. Ah... Uh. Oh, please give them some slack. They're a small independent company releasing their first big game. <laughs> it's true. It's true. It's their, it's their first game. They've never released a game before. Uh, so that's kind of funny. I thought that was a kind of funny one. A little funny, little, a little haha, a little tee hee. Um, yeah, the, the, I think I think that's a bit of a funny one. Like they've got they've like got universal special rules, but these are clearly two different ones. They are two different rules. They couldn't give reroll all shooting attacks on objective markers or leaves days to be the best shooting in the game. Um. <laughs> I thought this hell so apparently it's discourse now. What does that mean? <laughs> discourse tweeted about it though. To be fair. There we go. Mikey has found a mildly amusing joke. Proceeds to milk it for months. That is how I work, to be fair. Anyway, that was fun. We liked that. That was a fun meme. Uh, back to the fact, the old faction focus. But what we have seen is Abaddon the Despoiler. Now, he has Deep Strike and he's a leader. Now, we, do we know what leader does, technically? Um, we've got Talon of Horus. It's fine. We've got Drachnian and Talon of Horus in combat. Forgive me for being a Space Marine sim. I'm super stoked about new units for the faction. Wish we didn't have to wait for melee jump Primaris, man shrugging. Jagerbomb, never apologize for being a Space Marine simp. I am a Space Marine simp too. <laughs> Thank you, mate. Really appreciate it. Thanks for the five bucks. That's very kind of you. Um, leader can join units. Okay. So what this does mean is Abaddon. 
can only move five, unlike Gilman who can move eight. Only toughness five, unlike <laughs> Gilman's like toughness nine. Two up save, four plus in one, nine wounds. Can be targeted if he falls out of that unit's attached team. <laughs> Unlucky! Unlucky! Silly Abaddon! Silly Abaddon! You can target him, guys. If you kill the unit he's in, just shoot him off the board. <laughs> um, but he does have... Select one of the War Master abilities, much like um, Gulliman. Choose one of three. While a friendly heretic can start a unit within six inches of this model, each time a model makes an attack, you can re-roll their hit roll. <laughs> <laughs> listen, guys. Guys. Guys, listen. Come closer. Come here. Come here. Listen. There's... there's uh... I want to let you know that there's less re-rolls in 10th edition, okay? Less re-rolls in 10th edition. Less re-rolls in 10th edition, they said. What's this? What the fuck is this, then? Ah, <laughs> oh, they make me laugh. But you can also give your entire army or all infantry and mounted units... Whatever they are. A uh, four plus invulnerable save. Also very good. <laughs> and uh, you can reroll each of the battleship tests. So kind of rubbish. So the first two are the ones you're going to use all the time. <laughs> he also has this dark destiny. Each time this model makes a dark pact and does not fail the resulting leadership test, roll 1d6. On a two plus, you gain one CP. That is pretty good. <laughs> Breaks vow to rid the game of rerolls immediately. Absolutely GW moment. <laughs> Why is it that Twin Link is reroll wounds and not hits? Why does Twin Link have to be hits just because it used to be? You know? It's fine, you know what I mean? It is weird when you think, oh, 7th edition and heresy currently. Uh, Twin Link means rerolls hits and 40k means reroll wounds. But it's like, why does Twin Link have to be reroll hits? A to reroll leadership works with that pack tests. That's true. Always be dark packed in. That's it. I think I think you probably will all the time. Because for the sake of D3 mortals, isn't too harsh for a sixes additional hits. Because it makes sense. It does it though. Is it just because it always has been? If it's because it always has been, that doesn't mean it makes sense. But yeah, so Lord of Traitor Legions, it's reroll leadership and battle shot test, which is which is alright, because you could be taking leadership for Dark Pact. But would you take that over a four plus in one? Or having your entire army within six reroll hit rolls? Nah, you're gonna take the paragon of hatred every turn, I think. So I from GW asking for what for feedback for Warper Fest. Woo! Maybe, I bet that's going to be a long list. If you take an icon, then packs are much better. Uh, each time you need to take a leadership test for dark packs, you can re-roll. Alright, yeah, that is a lot better. That is pretty good. So, devastating wounds on the melee weapon. So, devastating wounds obviously become mortal wounds on a 6 to wound. Which is pretty good. He's, got, he's, he's also got... He's got 22 attacks. If you could use both. Which, you know. You have to pick the one of the War Master abilities in your command phase. Yeah, you have to pick, Ryan. So he's either got strength 14, minus 4, 3 damage. Or 14 attacks at strength 7, minus 3, 1 damage. If he's going to get both, that's going to be fucking dumb. In my head, I'm thinking they're just going to get one. I can't see Abaddon and Gulliman getting 20 plus attacks. You know? I can't see this one Chaos Legionnaire champion taking a heavy melee weapon and a heavy melee weapon and then getting six attacks at strength eight minus two two damage. That doesn't that doesn't make sense. That doesn't make sense. If that happens, listen, just give everybody two swords. As many swords as physically fit. Stick one on their head, stick one on their knees, knee swords. Stick them everywhere. Because if you can attack with every weapon you're equipped with, this is going to get stupid. So I'm playing it by ear and I'm kind of just going, maybe it's just one. Maybe it's just one weapon, you know? 
Doesn't make sense. Sounds like GW rules writing. True. True. Truly. But if that's the case, I will flip my shit, honestly. <laughs> if Gulliman has 22 attacks, everybody will have 22 attacks. Ah. Uh. It's going to be one. The Swarmy will be guffy in comparison. Yeah, imagine imagine Abaddon gets 22 attacks and the Swarmy gets 8. <laughs> Heavy melee isn't two-handed. No, it's not. You can give him two. The Aspiring Champion's Bolt Gun can be replaced with one of the following. Heavy melee weapon. The Aspiring Champion's Bolt Pistol, which he has both of, can be replaced with a heavy melee weapon. I'll give him the icon as well. <clears throat> Maybe it'll be like Harry here. If you have two weapons, you get plus one attacks, but can't do both. That might be that might be cool. If you've got two weapons, you get plus one attack. But wouldn't they just roll that into the attack characteristic? Right, I'm off to kickbash them. Literally, they do that, mate. Why not? We got the Bale Flamer, and now we know what Torrent means. Torrent means Flamer. <laughs> uh, D6 plus 3 Bale Flamer ignores cover strength 6, minus 1, 2 damage. Again, it's alright. Minus 1 is interesting. Minus 1 does seem to see, be the, the new baseline of like, this is the best you're going to get in shooting. Chainsaw face! That's true! That's true! Well done! Who would win in a fight? Swarm Lord with one weapon or Chainsaw Man with Chainsaw for hands and face? <laughs> Who would win in a fight? <laughs> chainsaw Man or one Swarm Lord? I can attack four times because I've got four weapons. I've got a chainsaw in what, this hand. I've got a chainsaw in this hand. I've got a chainsaw on my face. i got spikes on my back. I can charge it here. Anyway, I made a video of how I made it. Go and watch it. <clears throat> Good shout. Thanks, Andy. Appreciate it. Legend. This is one of those moments where missing the whole coral just makes it more complicated. It does. It does. <clears throat> what if the Swarm Lord can attack four times nine times? Do you think the Swarm Lord attacked with four bone sabers that are twin linked? <laughs> four separate bone sabers twin linked. <laughs> Listen guys, you're doing a number on me here. You're doing a number on me here, that's for sure. <laughs> anyway, got flesh metal guns now. So interesting. So uh you got some that melted too, which is cool. Blast. Blast is obviously plus one attack for having even five models in a unit, which is pretty good. Minus three, but only D3 attacks. Minus two, D6 attacks, minus one. So obviously these are gun platforms. They are designed to shoot. So maybe, maybe, this is like, again, like the standard, minus one. Sustained hits, warp hail, D6 plus three. This is way less shots than they get now. Do we have a release date? Just June, mate. That's all we know. Excuse me. Just There's a video that said, coming June. We've also got a stratagem. Dark Obscuration. Your opponent shooting phase just after an enemy has selected its targets. One heretic can start his unit for your army to select an attack. Until the end phase, your unit has a stealth ability. In addition, if your unit is near goal, until the end phase, your unit can only be selected to the target if it is within 12 inches. What does stealth do? Stealth? What does stealth do? They call it Slaves to Darkness. That's obviously like a detachment ability, right? Slaves to Darkness. Do we know what stealth does? I don't see it on my list. Oh, at the moment, hates that strat. It does. <laughs> what is stealth? Guys, it's not on my list in the SOH Point Discord. It's not on my list. What's stealth? <laughs> Cheers, Pickle. 
Have fun, mate. What's stealth? It's not on my list. <laughs> cool. Let's go. I get stealth. That's such a good rule. I bet it's. I, I bet it's fucking sick. Can't wait. <laughs> Spoiler: We don't know. Excellent. I would love to know what stealth does. Uh, we don't. <laughs> stealth is unconfirmed. People think it might be minus one to it. So we don't know. So they said you get stealth, but they haven't told you what stealth is. That is funny. Oh. I also have the survey. <laughs> maybe we could do maybe we could do the survey on stream. <laughs> It could be. I don't know. I don't know. So he gets stealth. It's going to be some defensive thing. <laughs> the nether mark makes it better. Isn't stealth can't be targeted within 12 inches? But why would you need the. So it says stealth. In addition, if your unit is Nagel, you can't be targeted. So that wouldn't be the same. What survey? So Warhammer Fest have put out a survey. Warhammer events team. Um, it's from the Warhammer events team. Um, and it's a, a survey for feedback regarding the event of Warhammer Fest general attendee survey. Keep scrolling down. It's there. They do not mention stealth once. Hey, thanks for the two, mate. We appreciate it. Time to raid Val, right? No. <laughs> um, I've definitely seen it. Like, it's not on my list. I feel like it would have been on this list, right? Anyway, we got two more to do. Necrons. We're powering through, guys. Necrons also shit. Their number is Legion. Their name is rubbish. Faction rules. Let's have a look. Reanimation protocols. So, reanimation protocols at the minute. Kind of weird. It's basically a fancy feeling of pain. But for big models, it's kind of rubbish. So, like, spiders, um, wraiths. It's kind of hard to do. Scarabs as well. For one wound models, like warriors, it's great. You die, you get straight back up on a five. Pretty good. But it basically just feels like a feel no pain, whereas a feel no pain is a damage, damage prevention roll. You die, you roll a five up, you get back up. It's pretty strong. But for multi wound models, it doesn't really work. It's not very good. But what they've done now is piss everyone off. <laughs> what they've done now is piss everybody off. If your army is Necrons, at the end of your command phase, each unit from your army with this ability activates its reanimation protocols and reanimates D3 wounds. Each time such a unit reanimates a wound, if it contain unit contains one or more models with fewer than their starting number of wounds remaining, select one of those models that one model regains one lost wound. Or if all models in that unit have their starting number of wounds, but that unit is not at the starting strength, one destroyed model is returned to that unit with one wound remaining. One such a unit is at its starting strength and all these models with their starting number of wounds, nothing further happens. <clears throat> my friend has been spamming me about how bad he thinks a new renovation is i'll point him in your direction it's almost like they've made it worse because they're making the game less lethal so having the current reanimation protocols in a game that's not as killy might be an issue It's more wounds in reverse. Yes, yeah, so you basically heal up to D3 wounds in that unit. It's a long way of saying it. You have D3 wounds, and that's how many models you add back on with that mo when many wounds remaining. If you got one wound models, you get D3 back. If you got two wound models, you heal D3 to the first one. If you got any points left, you revive the next one. But, yeah, reanimation protocols is kind of shit. 
you know? Reanimation Protocols is kind of shit. But so is everyone else. Imagine they kept the current reanimation protocols, which is arguably, as mentioned, the best it's ever been, in a game that is like a quarter, if not less, of lethality. So you can't kill 20 warriors in a single turn because the game doesn't let you. <sighs> not as killing. Did you see the guard weapon yet? If you're going to tell me a volcano can turn Necron warriors, I'm going to ban you from chat. <laughs> Should just be D3 wounds gained. If they have a three wound model, they get all those wounds. That is exactly how it works, Steve. You know? There's no restrictions on early wounds in that round. If they're dead. Yeah, the thing is, is they don't get reanimation if they're dead anyway. They would never have. That was the only way to stop reanimation protocols, was to kill the unit. <laughs> but what we have seen is Awakened Dynasty, a detachment rule as well. While a Necron's character is leading this unit, each time all of this unit makes an attack, add one to the hit roll. Oh, it's not just get the guy back up on one wound if he's dead. No, it's basically heal D3 wounds. You do, each time a unit reanimates a wound, because you apply one wound at a time. If it's got none, if it's got a wound taken, you regain a wound. If it's not that starting strength, you add, bring back a all on one wound, and then do the next wound. So if you roll three wounds, again, if you've got three wounds and three dead warriors, you bring back three warriors. Well, one wound each. If you've got two wounds and one guy's taken a wound, you roll three. You heal the first guy with the first wound. Now you've got no one on wounds. He, the next one heals a guy back and then you heal again. No, it's okay. It's fine. So yeah, you basically, you get, think about rather than like D3 wounds, you roll D3 reanimation points and you spend those points on either healing a wound or bringing the guy back on one wound and you do it one at a time. So it does work exactly how you think. But yeah, so this command protocol detachment rule, kind of rubbish. Compared to dark packs and uh, the um, detachment rule for space marines, the um, combat doctrines, this one is kind of rubbish. But you need spotlight. Everyone coming, pissing, coming, and shitting, crying about the monolith. Because look at it. It's got four flux arcs or death rays, depending on which one you want to do. Four of them, having a great time. It's got Deadly Demise, which I presume is an uh, explosion. D explosion D6, maybe. Because a lot of vehicles seem to have Deadly Demise. And it can deep strike. It has reanimation protocols, which means it's also healing D3 wounds a turn, rather than one, like Living Metal used to be. <clears throat> it's got eternity gates and reinforcements. Have your movement phase. You let one Necron's infantry unit from it's either in reserves or on the battlefield. If you let the latter move the battlefield, the battlefield. The unit is set up anywhere on the battlefield is wholly within six of this model and not within engaged range of any models. That unit cannot declare a charge. So you pull something out of combat, which is cool, or reposition it slightly. No invod. It's got like two up armor save, mate. You don't need an invod. <laughs> um, so it's got death ray. So it's got four. One attack. Three is to hit. Strength 12, minus four. D6 plus one damage. Sustained hits D3. So sustained hits D3 is every six to hit is an additional D3 hits. That is pretty funny. Gorse Flux Arc with lethal hit, so a six to hit automatically wounds. Rapid Fire 3, so in half range is going to get six shots for each one rather than three. Strength 6 minus 1, 1 damage, not that great. But it does have a Particle Whip, 3d6 attacks with Blast and Devastating Wounds, so Devastating Wounds being Mortal Wounds on a 6 to wound. 3 to hit, Strength 8 minus 1, 2 damage. Look at all those minus 1s by that one weapon that is minus 4. Minus one's the new standard, lads. Minus one is the new standard. It also counts as eight on an objective. That is brutal. But if it does take, if it has only eight wounds remaining, or seven wounds remaining, subtract four from objective control and minus one six. It's going to be hitting a lot of stuff on fours. 
It's pretty decent combat as well. Six attack, strength, eight, minus two, three damage. How long until Armor of Contempt comes back from Breeze? I don't think it will because there's hardly any AP. Look, the only AP, AP2 in combat, I said standard, AP1 otherwise, except for these very specialist guns. So, and it's healing D3 wounds a turn, which is pretty good. Seamus, congratulations. Currently sat in hospital holding my newborn daughter while catching up on all of this. I'm glad that the first thing you wanted your newborn daughter to hear was me ranting about Necrons. <laughs> Thank you so much. Congratulations. Congratulations, mate. But what we've got is vehicle, Titanic, fly, and towering. So Titanic and towering, both two di two different keywords. I thought they were changing towering for Titanic. But it does have fly, which is also interesting. It moves seven. It's not that fast, but it can fly over stuff as well. Next is going to say the, is named the little one Mikola. Imagine, imagine that would be hilarious. That would be hilarious. I think you should call it Mikola. Her, Nicola, even. Or them. <clears throat> but yeah, use the Eternity Gate being able to pull stuff out of combat is very, very strong. But here we go. The ultimate, the ultimate angry, angry comments triggerer. Necro Warriors, leadership seven. It is so bad, guys. Why? Necron's leadership is so shit. Necron's Legion is so shit. It's one worse than Space Marines. I can't believe them. How can Necron Warriors have worse leadership? Oh my god. It's so bad compared. It's one. It's still average dice on 2d6, but it is one worse than Space Marines, guys. Guys, listen. Let's get angry. Let's get badge. Let's get badge. <laughs> uh, Legion 7. Bait, just trash. Just trash. Just get rid of them. Just throw them all in the bin. Set them on fire. <laughs> Why Necrons? Everybody has leadership. You know? Why do they get disconnected from the command protocol? You know? It's actually a piss thing. They may as well, yeah, just burn them, mate. I don't even know why they bother writing Necrons down. <laughs> it's seven. It's not ten. Necron's just shit, mate. Also, they're only ballistic skill four. <laughs> just put them in the bin. Get rid. Get rid of them. But what luck do they have? <laughs> Lethal hits. Auto wounds on sixes once again. You know? Auto wounds on sixes again. That's what they always had with Gorse. Use auto wound um, vehicles on a six to hit. Or auto glance on a six to wound something. But yeah, six is the hit auto wounds and rapid fire for ghost flame makes it actually a viable viable usage of uh, that weapon because otherwise it was only ghost reapers. But look, the 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 AP has also been dropped down one as well. It's not battle shock; it's the blue screen of death. Literally, I see the chief. Literally, that mate. <laughs> It's almost like a Necro Warrior is now a Horde unit. No longer equivalent to a Space Marine. That's crazy, mate. No AP on Ghost Weapons. Cringe. Deck no, mate. Come on now. It's literally right in front of you. There's AP on the Ghost Reaper. Extra strength for next AP. I agree. It is a better option. But Ghost Flayer is now a, a, a legitimate option. Because you have lethal hits and rapid fire. But you're only going to get the same amount of shots within 12, you know? The Ghost Reaper is still probably the best one, but it's still usable at least. Excuse me, I think I'm dying with hay fever. I've never had hay fever before. Uh, but they also have their number is Legion. So each... Each time this unit's reanimation protocol is activated, it reanimates D6 wounds instead of D3, unless it's within range of objective marker, in which case it reanimates D3 plus 3. It's pretty good. D3 plus 3 on an objective. That's pretty strong. They are going to be holding objectives all game because that's what they're built to do. So they're going to be getting D3 plus 3 back.
It was always rapid fire. Yeah, it was. But the fact that the gun isn't... This gun isn't just better anymore. It's just a bit better, the Ghost Reaper. Before, it was just better. Strength 5, minus 2. Now, it's only minus 1 and strength 5. So, now, like, Ghost Slayer doesn't look as bad. So many great name cranes, someone member them. Yeah, I think everyone should gift a member for the death of the Necro Warrior because someone's going to build them. Someone's going to burn them, sorry. I'm going to burn all my 60 Warriors. No, I think the Necro Warrior date sheet still looks very good from what we've seen so far. But your faction is shit. My faction sucks, don't forget. My faction bad. Can't believe they made my faction worse and made everyone else's worse at the same time. But now we've got context. We've got quite a few units to look at, you know? Weapon spotlight. The Doomsday Cannon. D6 plus one shot. What the fuck? Three to hit. Strength 15 minus four and four damage. That's so bad. That's so bad. I think the day she's a good bar in leadership seven. <laughs> Bro, he's one worse. <laughs> What's wrong with you? Your faction bad, my faction also bad. We're all bad. Also, they get better reanimation protocols. Reanimation protocols, arguably better now, because you just fucking. You gotta kill, you're not gonna be able to kill you in turn because everything's not as good, and you're gonna get loads of models back. He's got blast and heavy. So, heavy, make it hit on a two if it sits still. If it sits still, it also gets <laughs> mortal wounds on a six to wound. So, four mortals on a six to wound. That's brutal. Just roll a six. Literally roll a six. Four mortal wounds. Bruh. <clears throat> it also hits on a two. And it also gets plus one shot for every five models. This is going to rip up fucking infantry like nothing. <laughs> you know? This is going to tear infantry apart. Damage 4 is the best change. Yeah, always damage 4, always AP 4, always strength 15. It merely gets 4 mortals if you stand still and hits on 2s. This is brutal. It is shit though, don't forget. Necrons are bad. I love how every time a new edition comes out, everybody says it's the end of the world. I find that funny. This is literally this entire stream. Can't kill unit warriors. Yes, it can. Yes, it can. You shoot that a unit of 20 warriors. That is D6 plus 5 shots. <laughs> that can kill 11 of them. If you stand still, if with 11 shots and you roll all sixes to wound, that is 44 mortal wounds. It can kill two Necro warriors in one round of shooting. New Necro warrior units even. <laughs> it can do 44 mortal wounds at a unit of 20 if you roll all sixes yes it can kill a unit of warriors 44 yes do you need me to roll it out for you great name if i roll it out for you i expect you to become a member straight after right d6 plus one shots okay get out of your head That's seven shots by the way if you roll sixes it gets plus one because it's blast, right? For every five models. So there's 20 of them. That's plus four. That's D6 plus five. That's 11 shots, by the way. It's going to hit on twos, if you can see the unit. Twos. <laughs> right? <laughs> okay. You ready? It's turned 15. It's minus four. It's hitting on twos, wounded on twos. Damage 4. If you roll 6 to wounds, it has Devastating Wounds ability, which means Devastating Wounds, 6 to wound, inflict damage mortal wounds instead. Every 6 to wound is 4 mortal wounds. This is going to tear a lot of units apart. Every 6 to wound is 4 mortals. That's 2 Space Marines. That's 4 Necro Warriors. <laughs> Forty-four mortals. If it shoots at a unit of twenty and rolls only sixes, <laughs> yeah. Oh shit! I never thought like that. <laughs> Devastating wounds. <laughs> it's brutal. It's so brutal. But guys, listen. Every faction is shit. By the way, every faction is shit. 
Yeah, but it won't. Listen, it could do 44 mortal wounds. You just said it was wouldn't be able to kill a unit of warriors. It can actually kill two unit of warriors if you could take units of 40. Or well, one unit of 40. It could kill a unit of 44 in one turn. I do enjoy the lack of reading comprehension in The Hobbit, but this <laughs> mighty mob, listen to me. The lack of reading comprehension keeps me in a job. I love it. <laughs> anyway, Ross, you better become a member or I'm going to ban you. That's all I'm going to say. I just sat and spent five minutes of my life explaining to you something that you couldn't read. That is literally on screen. Ah. <laughs> uh. If knights have 30 wounds, it can one-shot a knight. It can probably one-shot most things in the game. But, don't forget, Blast is kind of carrying it a lot. Blast is carrying it quite a bit. Because, obviously, you get extra attacks. The maximum it can do is 7 times 4. You know? Devastating wounds is Loki awesome. Everyone like, bruh, leadership 7 or, or devastating wounds. <laughs> <laughs> uh, anyway, that's a Doomsday Arc. Doomsday Cannon. Doomsday Arc. Every Necron player who says this is shit needs to put their Doomsday uh, Arcs and all the rest of their army in a fire because they can't read. Anyway, <laughs> Spear of the Void Dragon. So, if you need a little extra help with enemy vehicles, it's time to call the Catan of the Void Dragon. Its particle splitting spear makes the lightest work of tanks and fighting vehicles with anti vehicle 2 plus. Bruh. Bruh, indeed. Okay, anti vehicle 2 plus, fight attacks. So, auto wins on 2s, minus 3, d6 plus 2. Or 10 attacks, strength 8, minus 1, 2 damage at 10 attacks. That is brutal. That is brutal. Also, Ross Oliver, well done, mate. Proud of you, mate. Proud of you. Well done. Well done. You know what? You took one for the team there. I, I no. bullied you specifically, and you did the right thing. Thank you for becoming a member. I'm very proud of you. Don't forget, if you are a member, join the Discord, and uh, you get full access to the members' lounge where I actually talk to you in there. All day, every day. Do we know what anti-vehicle does? Anti-vehicle or anti-anything is basically again from our little cheat sheet anti keyword or modify wound roll of x plus against keyword unit automatically succeeds so two plus to wound that's what it means doesn't matter what toughness you are twos to wound against a vehicle or you strength 12. not bad <laughs> Thanks to the two. Radio free. Legend, mate. Peer pressure. Yeah, peer pressure. Someone said something dumb. I said to explain it. I expect to thank you. <laughs> uh, also, Jeremiah, thank you very much for the uh, the membership, bro. I really appreciate it. That is pretty good. Yeah, yeah, he's pretty good. So he's winning on twos. Unless he wants to use his sweep attack, which you're probably just going to use this one. It's five attacks. So he's not got strategy and spotlight. Let's have a look. Protocol of the Hungry Void. Awakened Dynasty Battle Tactics. So this is the Awakened Dynasty, the first detachment rule. One Necron's unit from your army that has not been selected to this fight. To the end of the phase, add one to the strength characteristic of melee weapons equipped by molding your unit. In addition, if a Necron's character is leading until the end of the phase, improve the armor penetration. That's really good. So if you have a Necron's character leading it, by the way, as discussed at the start of the, the thing, you get plus one to hit. So what you get is plus one strength. And if you are have a Necron's character leading it, you get plus one to hit naturally and plus one AP. That's pretty pog. <laughs> so Necro Warriors are going to be hitting on three, strength five, minus one, one damage in combat. <laughs> as well as in shooting if you've got Ghost Reapers. So the strat's pretty decent. You use it on something else, obviously, but it's not bad. Just the con, just the, like, again, Necron Warrior context. Score pet's gonna be crazy. Yeah, put a score pet lord in the unit of, <laughs> and this <laughs> on a unit of score pets. <laughs> listen, listen, Kerry Commissar. Necrons are shit. 
Ah. <laughs> hey Necron plays, are your Necron so unplayable right now? Then I know really trustworthy bidding service. Send them trust to me. Just burn them, mate. Just burn them. Do yourself a favor. Wait, Praetorian's good. Listen, everything's gonna be good. And everything's shit. Everything's shit, guys, don't forget. The entire the entire game's shit. We got one more to do, but the link's not working, so I need to go and find it. Here we go. Astra Militarum, the final book that's been released, except for World Eaters in this ninth edition. And here we go, the final faction focus of the week. Faction rules, faction rules. Voice of command, if your army faction is Astra Militarum, in your command phase, officer models of your army with this ability can issue orders. Each officer's data sheet will specify how many orders can issue and which units are eligible to receive those orders. Each time an officer model issues an order, select one of the orders below, then select one eligible friendly unit within six inches of the officer to issue it to. So in the command phase, the unit you selected is affected by the order. Unless otherwise stated, a unit can only be affected by one order at a time. Any order subsequently issued to that unit replaces the current one. If a unit being affected by an order becomes battle shot, the order ceases to affect that unit. Okay. If everything's shit, everything's good. We do keep saying this, Kyle. But yes, you are right. So you can either move, move, move. Give plus three move. Pretty good. Improve the weapon skill of melee weapons by one. Improve the ballistic skill by one. Improve the attack characteristics of your rapid fire weapons by one. This is very good. Tank, take cover. Improve the save characteristic by one, but not more than a three plus. Or improve the leadership and objective control characteristics of your models by unit by one. So the officers issue, obviously that's pretty much how it works now, but they are all pretty good. Obviously move and move is really good to make stuff a lot faster. Fixed bayonets, you're probably not going to want to be in combat most of the time unless you are using the, the horse things, the riders. Uh, take aim. Obviously, getting plus one to hit is very good. Improving the ballistic skill is very, very good. First rank fire, second rank fire has had the biggest change because now it affects all rapid fire weapons, including plasma guns. So now plasma guns are getting extra shots. Now, I will say they've also taken... They have giveth with one hand and taketh with the other. Because it used to just make you rapid fire something. Which meant in half range you doubled the amount of shots. Now rapid fire weapons have had an attack characteristic boost. They get plus one. Now let's for example. A plasma gun is rapid fire one. Now obviously rapid fire has changed. It is not double shots in half range. It is now increase the weapons profile attack by X when within half range. So plasma guns go from rapid fire one to rapid fire one, just to let you know. With first rapid fire, second rapid fire on a las gun, you will get two shots and in half range, you'll get an additional shot. Whereas before it'd be two shots and in half range, you get additional two shots, meaning four. So first rapid fire, whilst it's affecting plasma guns, has actually had a slight nerf because now it doesn't affect rapid fire because rapid fire one is not the attack characteristic. The attack characteristic is the A. That's something that I've noticed that people are forgetting. We aren't reading all of the rules all of the time. So, las guns are going to get three shots in half range, as our plasma guns, they aren't going to get four. So, that's like a big change that a lot of people are missing. But it is still very good. It's still very good. But not good compared to what you can do now. Now, finish your first round fire, second round fire was heavy three. Okay, fair enough. I must be thinking of previous first rank fire, second rank fire. Maybe it's because the guard codex has only been out like two weeks. And it's getting uh, uh, like outdated in a month. But here we go. Um, but what can I say? What can I say? <laughs> so it's still good. It's still good. But here we go. We got the Cadian shock troops. So the Cadian shock troops are units of twenty now, right? It looks like you can take more for every 10 models in this unit. You can take this many. If you can prove ballistic skill, does that mean you can still stack a plus one to hit? You can. You can. Mercenary Q. Because you're improving the ballistic skill with take aim. So ballistic skill plus one. So their ballistic skill changes here. So there'll be three plus rather than four plus, for example. And then you can give them plus one to hit. But yeah. So here we go. For every 10 models, you can take two. 
Um, for every 10 models in each unit, one shock trooper equipped the last gun can be equipped with one box caster. Any number of shock troopers, sergeants, can have their last pistol replaced with one bolt pistol. Any number of shock troopers, sergeants, can have their last pistol and chainsaw replaced with one drum fed auto gun or close combat weapon. Unit composition. One shot trooper sergeant and nine shot troopers, or two shot trooper sergeants and 18 shot troopers. So it looks like you can't add a single model anymore. We are going to Asia Sigma unit composition. You can't go, I've got five, I'm going to add one. It's five or ten. It's ten or twenty. There is no in between, so this is much like Asia Sigma. You reinforce units and you double the size. Now, this is, honestly, in my opinion, bad, uh, but it makes sense. It, this makes sense because you buy a unit and you double the size. You wouldn't, in, in, the military, in a military action, you wouldn't send out 11 dudes. You'd be like, oh, it's a squad. You send out the squad. But what this means is, is you can have one, what, 10 dudes or 20. You can't have anything in between. So it's going to make list building very difficult because you start having big chunks of points happening. Rather than the odd points here and there. I'm going to have six dudes here. I'm going to have five dudes there. You know? I think Chaos Marines were four to nine plus champ. Okay, let's have a look. Let's have a look at Chaos Marines. Because Shock Troopers, they're the ones that are going to suffer if it's only those. Let's have a look at Chaos. Oh, interesting. Yeah, you're right. Chaos are completely different. Aspiring Champion, 1, or 4 to 9 Legionnaires. Yeah, you're right, Mighty Marv. So it looks like for space, Chaos Space Marines, they don't quite follow the same rules that Guard do. Because Guard are... That's the wrong one. Is it that one? Oh, God. Oh, God. Is it this one? Yeah, I scrolled down. That's fine. So, guard are 10 or 20. Who can't read now? I read it. I guess what you explained is probably what they did because they're a traditional military force, exactly. Shut up, McGoo. <clears throat> it's a mix of what AOS and what you're used to in 40k. The fixed quad size might be for low tier infantry. Yeah, it might be just for like non elite infantry. These are going to come in hordes, right? We didn't see the back of the Necro Warrior one, so we don't have that as a choice, as a, as a thing to look at. But yeah, so this one is limited to 10 or 20, which is interesting. But what they do have is shock troops. At the end of your command phase, if this unit is within range of objective marker, you control that objective marker remains under control, even if you have no one to be range of it until your opponent controls it at the start of, or end of any turn. So not during the turn, which is interesting. So shock troops is kind of like, they kind of like progress into the next objective all the time, which is a really good ability. It's sticky objectives, we call that. Um, and then Voxcaster, each time the target bearers, every time you target the bearers unit with a strategy, roll 1d6, adding 1 if there is one or more officer within 6 inches on a 5 push, you gain 1 TP. That's really strong. The Voxcaster ability is really good. So gaining TP back. Obviously, people are saying we might be starting with 0. So that's really strong, I think. But they haven't changed, really. Their leadership 7. So the same leadership as the Necro Warrior. Cringe. Uh, 5 plus save. Only 1 wound and T3. So that's fine. Uh, what are, what are we, what's interesting? Let's have a look. We've got um, a grenade launcher, strength nine minus two D three. Pretty good. You think sticky objective will be a USR? You would have thought, yeah. I would have thought that'd be a USR. Um, but yeah, you've got a crack grenade, which is strength nine minus two D three. That is pretty good. Excuse me. Um, but you don't see like a frag or crack grenade, but it's not a launcher, but they do have the grenades keyword. So that's interesting. So grenades keyword, no frag or crack grenades in the, in the, in the options. It doesn't say they're equipped with frag or crack grenades either, which I believe they are currently. So that's an interesting one that I've noticed on a couple of date sheets. Let's just check the chaos one. Bolt gun, bolt gun, bolt gun, bolt pistol, close combat weapon, grenades keyword. 
No grenade there. So grenade's keyword means something interesting, right? Interesting. So no grenades is a weapon. So no one guy's going to lob a grenade and everyone else is going to shoot a gun. You got a grenade launcher. Is it a special rule? I don't know. We'll have to see. I think that's an interesting one. That I don't think people have spotted either. This is why you watch the channel, guys. Because I spot all these things. I have very good eyes. Eyes like a hawk, some could say. So currently, grenades keyword. No grenade weapon. Except for the crack the launcher, obviously. Grenade keyword might be a strategy like smoke screen. It might be in the door. I agree. But we got the Bane Blade. The Bane Blade. Toughness 13. 2 plus save. 24 wounds. Objective control 8. Deadly demise D6 plus 2. So deadly demise is explosion, I imagine. D6 plus 2. <laughs> if you tend to roll 6, is literally. Don't roll anything else. You'll always win. Uh, so you got the Bane Blade Cannon. 3d6 shots with blast strength 12 minus 2 3 damage You got coaxial auto cannon auto cannon is both the same Demolisher cannon d6 plus 3 strength 14 minus 3 d6 Look at all these heavy minuses on a tight like on a big titan tank But not on anything else. That's crazy <laughs> Uh, heavy Stubber, Rapid Fire 3. That's interesting. Heavy Stubbers have always been heavy. Heavy Stubber's the best weapon in the game. Um, rapid Fire 3, so he's going to get six shots in half range. Pretty good, strength 4. Varric shaved his head. Because <laughs> he's going bold, mate. <laughs> Why do you think Varric shaved his head? Because he's going bold. He's jealous of a beautiful, luscious locks like me. Like most people. Luscious locks. I would never shave this. That would be cringe. <laughs> Why did God get better AP than a monolith? Bro, come on now. Come on, don't make me do it. Don't make me do it. <laughs> oh, come on now. You're going to make me do it, aren't you? You're going to make me prove you wrong. Necrons. Where are you, Necrons? Monolith. Let's scroll down to the monolith. I keep losing my fucking page. Minus two, minus one, minus three, minus three. Why did God get better AP than a monolith? Minus four. I'm doing it. I'm doing it. Why can't you read? <laughs> Why did that cross get worse AP? Why can't you read? It's AP four. <laughs> <laughs> ah. Oh, that's F12. Armor tracks, kind of pog. All right. Let's have a look. Rolling Fortress. Each time a ranged attack is allocated to an Ashen Militari model for your army, if that model is not fully visible to every model in the attacking unit because of this main blade, get cover. That's pretty, pretty good. Get covered to everybody. That's like one gun. It's four guns, mate. <laughs> it's four guns. Oh, dear. Oh, I can't believe the Bane Blade has three guns that are better AP when the monoliths are four. <laughs> because Mechagons are shit. Mechagons are shit, by the way. So you basically give out free cover to everyone if you can't fully see the unit. Which from every attacking model, that's really good. So you hide one guy behind the Bane Blade, everybody gets cover. Can you hide Bane Blades behind a Bane Blade? Yes. <laughs> yes, you can. Weapon Spotlight. Lehman Rust Battle Cannon. Blast D6 plus 3. It's only 48 inch range now. I'm pretty sure it's 72 inch range. Not that it makes much difference in most games. But 48 inch range is shorter. Um, D6 plus 3. 
Um, so obviously with Blast, it's probably going to be getting D6 plus 4, average of 7 shots most of the time. BS4, strength 10, minus 1, 3 damage. He's obviously lost some AP, but it's still 3 damage, which is very good. Coverage per model, so not the whole unit. Oh yeah, but still. <clears throat> so lack of AP is a bit of a shame, but obviously all of the AP is dropping. What does it start with all these doors? All these doors isn't going to be a rule anymore. Let's be honest. <laughs> and also the volcano cannon. Oh my god, guys! It's it's a volcano cannon. Listen. I can't believe they get so many shots at D3 plus one with blast. So averaging four shots, hitting on force. It's strength 24. It's minus 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 one. Like, listen, guys, just pack up. Guard is so broken because of this one gun on a like probably like 700 point unit. Oh, I can't believe they brought a Titan weapon to a friendly game. That's so bullshit. I can't believe they brought a Titan weapon to a friendly game. I can't believe them. Why would they do this? The game's basically over. Everyone's going to be playing so many Volcano Cannons. It's heavy, so it's going to hit on the threes if it stands still and can see everything in your army. 12 damage. You don't even need to roll. You don't even need to roll 12. Hits on the three if it doesn't move. What can it see if it doesn't move? Why are you standing in front of a volcano cannon? <laughs> Why are you standing your units in front of a volcano cannon and be like, bruh, I can't believe the volcano cannon shot them. You shoot two tables over. I mean, yeah, but what can you see? <laughs> Uh, that's true. Two plus if you target with take aim. Take aim, make it ballistic skill three, then plus one to hit because it's heavy. Right. I'm not moving now. What can I see? If you're about to tell me my all my tanks are going to die, <laughs> then, <laughs> then why have you stood up in front of a volcano cannon? Have you not heard of terrain? The damage is crazy, but the strength makes sense. It's also one gun. So it's going to kill one unit a turn. You know? It's an anti-Titan weapon on a tank that is very big. <clears throat> if there's one thing I've learned for the past four editions uh, of 40k, it's every single time the Beyblade guns are insane, every time nobody uses them, it's a giant unhideable unit that can't move. Literally. <clears throat> Turret weapon one plus. What does turret weapon do in tenth edition? If you stand right under the tank, it's you're in its blind spot, so it can't see. Yeah, what you do is you run up to it and throw swords in this little tiny slit where the driver is. If my volcano cannon couldn't kill any tank I shot it at, I'd be very disappointed. People are just mad that this will kill a land raider. <laughs> There's restrictions who can order what, though. You might not be able to issue order to a Baneblade. No, of course. Of course. But you might be able to. Also, is a volcano carrying in a turret? Because it's fixed to the hull. I don't think it is a turret. By definition. That's a turret. This isn't a turret. So even if they did have turret weapon, they probably wouldn't get it on a volcano cannon. So what we're saying is, Volcano Cannon, very good, but also cannot see anything. If you're putting models in front of Volcano Cannon, maybe you shouldn't have those models. <laughs> but what we've also seen is reinforcements of the Combined Regiment um, as stratagem. So obviously Combined Regiment, we don't actually know what it does yet. We've only seen the army rules as your voice of command. Why doesn't they even have anti rules? No, they just gave it a bigger number. Bigger number, be better person. McGoo. Everyone knows that. <clears throat> you know, bigger number, better person. That's why it's 24. Um, so you got one stratagem, two CP. Obviously, try to say we start with zero. Oh, no, an anti tire weapon can kill tanks. Literally, my heart bleeds. Um, 
when any phase one regiment unit from your army that was just destroyed you can use your stratagem on that unit even though it was just destroyed add a new unit to your army identical to the your destroyed unit in strategic reserve at each side strength with all of its wounds remaining it cannot be used to return destroyed character units to attach units that's interesting so you can bring back a whole unit for 2cp with a regiment keyword uh these guys do have the regiment keyword so it's 2cp so that's all your command points for a battle round it's decent it's pretty good ain't amazing though ain't amazing is it and there you go that's the faction rules for guard listen people are crying about the volcano cannon stop walking in front of it <laughs> you know if my mate had a machine gun and I walked in front of him and I died. Could I complain about my mate for having machine gun? Or should I have not walked in front of him? What sort of units have the regiment keyword you ask? Core infantry unit squads, heavy weapon squads, field ordnance batteries, elites like Tempest, Tempest of Science, or even fast moving Rough Riders and Sentinel teams. Does the uh, Beyblade have right keyword? No, the Beyblade does not have regiment keyword. <laughs> Imagine. It doesn't have towering. It only has Titanic. As James of the Warmer Design 2 told us, with combined regiment detachment, we wanted to evoke a national military force drawing on all of its humans' courage to stand firm against the foe. Picture guardsmen and tanks hunkering down to blast the oncoming enemy, and you have Born Soldiers Detachment, which confers lethal hits on rage attacks made by units that remain stationary. So lethal hits is six is the hit auto wound. So that they've kept Born Soldiers, which is really good right now, but you do have to remain stationary, which is a bit harder to do. So now that be <laughs> the Shadow Sword is hitting on twos and blast, and it's getting six is the hit auto wound with a tw 24 gun. Uh, the enhancement she gives characters playing to this further whether you drill use drill commander to lend your station units critical hits on fives and sixes or death mask of Olianus, Olianus, <laughs> which sees the objective control characters of the bears unit drop only to one while battle shot rather than zero with a flexible crop of stratagems on top of this a combined regiment detachment promises to be well-rounded fighting machine capable of anything high command might ask of it so there's a little bit more there So Volcano Cannon, Bane Blades aren't towering. Come on guys, we're doing it now. We're doing it now, we're going deep, we're going deep. He has the Titanic keyword, but not towering. I think that's important. I think, chat, that's really important. <clears throat> Where's terrain? I think that's a little bit bigger than we realise. Because I thought Titanic was gone. I thought the Titanic rule had disappeared. And replaced with towering. But Titanic is there. And I've seen... I've seen... Towering used, but not Titanic. Where's the terrain article? Safe terrain is now simple terrain. 20th of April. Let's go, gamers. Ruins. 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 Oh, too much. No, I don't remember. That means you can't hide it. Well, does that mean you can hide from it as well then? There you go. Aircraft and towering. 
Um, aircraft of the time rolls are section this visibility to him. Let's have a look. Similarly, if a model is not hollow with this terrain feature, must look through or over this terrain feature in order to draw a line of sight, then that other model is never considered to be fully visible to that observing model, and so we'll have the benefit of cover. So he can get cover. Interesting. What's the next faction to Jidra's reveal? I don't know, mate. Let me have towering as a keyword on here. Three stars. Any model of the fully side of the world of view three. So you may be gonna be able to get cover on the Bane Blade, but it also means you're gonna get cover from the Bane Blade, right? These wreck these wrecked and damaged structures completely block visibility of all models unless they have the aircraft or towering keyword through their footprint regardless of how much you see so this is basically up telling tell us we still have obscuring barring aircraft and towering now the guard thing isn't towering which means you can hide from the volcano cannon still <laughs> that's what i'm trying to say so this this says it blocks line of sight completely of all models bar towering. Is the Shadow Sword gonna have towering? Probably not, because the Bane Blade doesn't have towering. I knew there was something. I knew I'd read it. So obscurity is basically still a thing. Hide from the volcano cannon. Stop moaning. Ah, <laughs> uh, I knew it. I knew it was somewhere. I knew I'd read that already. God, I love being right. Ah, oh, it makes me so happy. Ah! Uh. Oh, if you can't fit your shadow sword wholly within the cover, yeah, you. But they can't be wholly in the cover on your side of the board, right? They can't be wholly in cover on your side of the board. What about knights? I don't know, mate. I don't know. But that's it. That's all we know so far. That's the five factions we've gone through. I can't believe that took me two hours to go through. Um, that's all we know and basically everybody's shit, but so is but everybody else is gonna be shit and that's okay That's okay Because the thing is if everybody's shit the floor is pretty low, you know If the ceiling's pretty low, that's gonna be fine I know the anti-titan weapon is shooting the titan. I know. Can't believe the anti-titan weapon is going to shoot the titan. That'd be crazy. So you're going to struggle to hide the volcano bane blade. But, <laughs> but you're going to be able to hide from it all the time. Stop worrying. Basically, that's what the entire stream has been. If everything's bad, everything is good. But also nothing's good, so everything's bad. So And that's going to be okay, you know? And that's basically what this stream is. It's just, it's just funny... I didn't have much to work with tonight because there wasn't much content. So I thought we'd go through the faction rules and laugh at them. But it's, it's the, a lot of it's come down to people just getting angry and mad at everything. Because they're like, my faction got nerfed. But everybody's faction's getting less lethal. The entire, the entire game can't get lethal if your faction doesn't also get lethal. You know? And um, that's what you kind of got to remember while you're looking at these faction things and, um, and remember what your army can do. It's like your army can do nothing in the new edition without new rules because there are new, no rules for them because the game is changing. That's why they want you to buy new books, they want to buy new indexes, buy new card shit, you know. But what you have to remember is, is they're not nerfing your army. Everybody's army started again. So it all seems rubbish. Every army seems rubbish. <clears throat> I think a lot of the outrage is because GW are only showing the basic troops and the massive stuff. We don't actually know anything until we get all the rules. No, exactly. We don't even know half the half the rules of the game. We're relying on a little cheat sheet that someone's made and Magoo's tagged in the Discord. Exclamation point Discord in chat. Um, we're relying on this to remember whatever Ed they've said because we don't have a collection of everything yet. They will do like a cheat sheet. The game is too killy. GW makes the game less killy. Fans re, literally. So we don't know all of the core rules, and the faction rules are mostly showing that the the armies are pretty shy. But it's 
everybody everybody's pretty shy <laughs> so it's gonna be fine it's gonna be fine and that's where i'm gonna leave it today um so thank you very much for joining me on this journey it's been a really popular stream tonight so thank you very much um, i'm gonna leave this one up but i might i might end up putting like some odd odd clips of just like this faction for example um so and that's what i'm gonna be doing if you're watching this stream and you're enjoying it then thank you very much if you're watching this back also thank you very much you made it through two hours of me ranting um, what I'm going to be doing with streams going forwards, if there's something that's really clippable, I'm going to leave the, the VOD down, but you can always watch it in the live stream playlist, but sometimes I might leave them up. That means I'm probably not going to make a video or not too concerned about the video doing too well. Um, but that just thought I'd let you know. So you can always watch my streams back. If you can't find it, even though I streamed like yesterday, and I'm like, wait, Mikey streamed yesterday, but where's his stream? All you have to do is go to the best channel in the world, me, as you can see, uh, the best channel in the world, if you look here and you can't see it, that's fine. Just go to playlists, go to live streams, wherever they are. It's pinned on the homepage. That's where they are. Go to the homepage, go to live streams, and they're all there. So any live stream that I've done, they are all going to be here. Any clips from a live stream are all going to be here too. Okay, even the ones that aren't public. Because there's some that are shown here that aren't in here. Just thought I'd let you know. Well, there you go. Everything is bad besides you, mate. Well, thank you. I really appreciate it. Thank you, everyone, for hanging out. I really appreciate it. Really popular stream. Thank you for all the people who have donated or gifted a member. It's been crazy tonight. I can't thank you enough again. I do just really appreciate it. And the one thing I'm trying to do with all of my streams, with all my content, is make you feel like you haven't wasted your time. You know? <clears throat> if you have the bell, you can click the notification. It takes you to the VOD. Yeah, the VOD's always there. Or if you're on Discord, you know, if you're in Discord, exclamation point Discord, announcements all of these links always work you know if you ever want to have a look all of these links always work if you want to find an old live stream either click live on the on the youtube page or go to the live stream playlist you know i always recommend scrolling my the feed because i do i do curate this so you can actually find stuff but yeah so obviously videos there as normal so that's it so thank you very much for watching i love you all thank you for everything i honestly couldn't do it without you quite literally and uh hopefully i'll catch you on wednesday for the morning news and um yeah there's lots of stuff happening i'm really excited uh june's gonna be big that's all i'll say so thanks for watching i love you all and i uh, hopefully i will is that for members is what for members only <laughs> the discord the discord's free there's just extra bit for members announcements is free exclamation point discord i love you all and bye bye